Hi, my name is Iwan and I'm getting close to finishing Bow and Fly, so I started thinking about polishing it. One of the first things that I noticed when I tried to make screenshots for the Steam store page is that I don't see where the fish is coming from, there is no indication of movement. In order to rectify this problem, I gave the fish a trail. Thanks to this little change, you can see where this fish is going and at which speed. However, in this situation I found it confusing that when you jump, the fish becomes orange, the trail becomes orange, but the particles stay blue, so they naturally draw attention to them. With that in mind, I changed the color of water to orange. I know that it doesn't make sense, but it makes the picture more clear. Now when you hit the floor and restore the water, you can easily see the blue fish on an orange background. After that, I started working on the visual representation for secret portals, which were already in the game, but were simply invisible. In my head, a portal is something that doesn't necessarily have a static physical form, so I tried to make it with some floating particles. I went through many iterations in Photoshop, but none of them seemed to work as good as this one. Later came the time to fix the visuals for keys and locks. For a long time the interactive zones in the game looked like something I wouldn't want to show anyone. I changed them to some physical objects attached to each other with a magical rope that you can interact with. In order to make them feel like they're a part of the world they're in, I also added some animation to them. After some experimentation I decided that the best idea would be to also fill in the space between the two connecting ropes. And later I applied the same idea to the gravity switches and water drops in the third area of the game. Since this is a video for a broad audience, not just for the game developers, if you'd like to see how I implemented that in Unity, I invite you to join me on my Patreon, just like these awesome people. Or obviously you can ask what interests you down in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer as many of your questions as possible. And that's it for today, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.